there are different kinds of disasters, and so there need to be different approaches to disaster recovery. In a remote office, a disaster might be the failure of a server, but with redundant servers and automated failover using shared storage and the advanced function of hypervisors, that disaster can be avoided. Another disaster might be a fire in the server closet. Separating the servers into two closets on opposite sides of the building or campus can help avoid the impact of an isolated fire. Placing the servers on a metro cluster can help avoid the impact of the loss of an entire building or campus. In order to do this, the storage must be mirrored between the two locations, and typically the distance must be less than 100 kilometers. But that distance is more than sufficient to survive most floods, fires, tornadoes, and even hurricanes. If the servers are in an active-active cluster, organizations can increase server utilization and performance while providing high availability that keeps the business up and running. I'm John, and this has been another Remote Office Tech Tip.